Uh, Matt Nadel here with Hall of Fame President Jeff Idelson. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, good. So, uh, are you excited to uh, see some of the Hall of Famers? Yeah, the Hall of Fame Classic, uh, this is our fifth one, Matt, and anytime you can bring these great Hall of Famers to Cooperstown along with so many other wonderful Major League players like Brian McRae, uh, it's a great experience for the fans and for us as a staff. Okay, uh, so when did you start getting interested in baseball? When did I start getting interested in baseball? Probably with my Red Sox rattle when I was two. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, now, I've talked to you before, and you said that you were part of the World Cup uh, committee. Right. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, the, the World Cup of Soccer takes place every four years. In 1994, it took place in the United States for the first time. Okay. And so I left my job with the Yankees. I know that may sound shocking to you because you love baseball. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, it was an opportunity to work with a great organization, and we brought uh, uh, 24 countries here that participated in a phenomenal event that was seen by 2 billion people worldwide. Yeah. Uh, so how long have you held this position of Hall of Fame president? Uh, I just finished my fifth year doing this. Okay, uh, how long have you been involved with the Hall of Fame? Uh, I moved here during the baseball strike in 1994, so 19 years, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, now, during the strike, I know a lot of fans were mad that the players didn't want any, uh, they wanted more money, so were there less fans here than usual? In 1994? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, the there, there were because, uh, you know, our attendance dropped a little bit, but we also had a number of fans come because they wanted to renew their faith in the game. And they said they wouldn't go back to a major league game until they came to Cooperstown first to make sure it was still in their heart and in their soul. So we played a, a great role in the healing process from the work stoppage. And at the end of the day, as you know, attendance just started skyrocketing after that. So as the Hall of Fame president, do you... Uh, root for any specific uh, baseball team now or are you kind of just ev everywhere just kind of like all of them well you know i love all 30 of them pretty equally but what what happens is uh, there's a lot of players i know in the game today okay. so i tend to root for the players that i have a relationship with and um, look for their success and, and also i always root for guys who have been good to the hall of fame okay uh well jeff thanks for taking the time to speak with me today uh it's been really fun so thank you. Thank you, Matt. Always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you.